Hello humanoids, welcome to Halfling Hobbies. I'm Halfling Hannah, and today I wanna to talk about taverns. Now you know I love a good tavern, and your players do too, because I guarantee that anytime they stop at a town after adventuring, they're gonna be looking for a tavern. There's just no better place to wind down, kinda of talk about the, the day, to relax, have something to drink, and maybe even pick up some local gossip and side quests. Nothing is better than a good tavern. However, a tavern scene can be just as stressful for a DM as a boss level encounter because there's so much that we have to come up with on the fly. You have to come up with tavern names, with NPCs, with gossip, with quests, with the interior design of the building and the description. <sighs> there's a lot to do when you're building a tavern and a lot of the times we have to do them on the fly. So today, we're gonna talk about taverns. We're gonna talk about how to make them unique and interesting, and I'm gonna give you lots of resources to help you out. So, here we go. All right, humanoids, so let's talk about how to make some tasty taverns. First of all, I wanna say a big shout out and thank you to all my patrons over on Patreon who support what we're doing here at Halfling Hobbies every day. I literally could not do it without you and I am so grateful. Second, if you want any of the resources that I'm gonna show you today, plus lots and lots more, you can become a part of that community over on Patreon. I do take requests and I make resources as you ask for them. But everything is going to be from my DM Binder Pages collection, and I'm gonna give you some free resources down in the description below. So let's look at how to make some tasty taverns. The first thing you're going to need when you're making a tavern, whether it's on the fly or you're making something to put in your own DM Binder, is you're gonna need a name. Now, this seems easy, but it's not in the moment. When your players are looking at you going, what's the name of the tavern? And you're sitting there going, I have zero creative thoughts in my head ever, apparently, because I don't know. It's a tavern, okay? <laughs> it's, it's the tavern, that's the name of the tavern. It's really hard. So what I've come up with is a foolproof way to make tavern names on the fly, and that is simply adjective noun. Now, if you've forgotten English class, because I mean, I understand, an adjective is a descriptive word and a noun is a thing, an object, even an emotion. So you're just taking an adjective with a noun and I guarantee that's gonna make a fun and unique tavern name. If you still have a hard time coming up with these on the fly, down in the description below, I actually have a tavern's name on the fly list with, where I just have a whole bunch of adjectives and a whole bunch of nouns. Literally just grab two, throw them together, and there's your, your tavern name. For example, the Friendly Fork. I actually really like that one, that one's fun. Uh, the Gentle Kobold. The happy farmer, that's a good one. The naughty mistress. <laughs> uh, the quaint goose, oh, I kinda like that one too. Or the uptight crab. All of these fantastic tavern names, I literally just grabbed some random words and threw them together from this sheet. Now, as you're doing that, the next link in the description below is just a note sheet that I like to keep with my tavern names on the fly sheet. Then I write down the tavern, I write down the town, village, city that it's in, and there you have it. Now you have an ongoing list of all the taverns that you're players have visited. Super, super easy way to come up with unique tavern names. Okay, now that's the easiest part of this that we've solved. Now let's get into some more difficult areas. The first is to make your tavern unique and special, it needs a tavern special. Now, most places in the real world have something that they're known for or famous for, whether it's good and sometimes infinitely bad. They have special 
specials. Your tavern should have the same thing. Now, again, I know that this can be a little difficult, which is why I made a DM binder sheet, again, for free in the description down below. This has five awesome tavern specials on it. So you can pick one of these and uh, use them as your tavern special. So the first one is South Island Grog. So your um, your special could be a drink. In this case, it's the Hapling found this recipe while he was stranded on an island. He says that Mer people gave it to him. Uh, the second drink option is the Misty Veil. This comes from a ghost-like flower that sits in the bottom of the drink and makes the drink uh, bubble and mist over. The next option for a tavern special could be a dish. For example, the wild boar on a spit. I really like this one. I've used this one before and it's really fun because this is actually a, a game or a contest called the Hero's Hunt. And the adventurer that brings in the largest boar for that evening's festivities gets a place of honor at the Hero's Feast, which is super fun. And if you have any competitive players in your campaign, they're gonna love that one. Uh, the next one is the Get Your Goat Challenge. <laughs> I like that one too. I have a lot of fun writing these. It's very enjoyable for me. So the get your goat challenge is if one player can eat an entire goat, then they get to spend the evening at the inn for free. Next up is a potion. Potions also most of the time are drinks. You can do some magical food, anything like that as a special. But in this case, I have a potion called the energy booster, which will take away one point of exhaustion. However, if the players don't sleep, you take a long rest within 24 hours and they get two points of exhaustion back. So these are simple, easy ways to create tavern specials. I hope these give you some fun ideas. So what I would do is just like this sheet, just have a whole bunch of them on hand and pull one at random when your players go into a tavern. If they don't ask for the special, don't force it on them. But uh, if, if they're staying there, if they go up to the bar, they ask what's good, throw in a special. It will make the tavern feel so much more interesting and unique. I promise. Oh, the next one. Number three in creating awesomely unique taverns is NPCs. This is always difficult for TMs. So your NPCs, you're going to need a bartender, you're going to need some waiters or waitresses, and you're going to need some patrons within the bar. All of these NPCs don't necessarily have to be fully flushed out, but you need to keep some in mind. Maybe have some random ones that you can pull from. For example, again, I have my DM binder. I have uh, NPC sheets in there. These uh, have the, the name, the race, the class, their job, character description, quirks, flaws, backstory, and an optional side quest, as well as items. So I keep a whole bunch of these in my binder, and then when I need an NPC, I just flip for one that works and I grab that. So in this case, uh, Kalmea is actually a bartender NPC that I have. My players have not yet encountered her, but I have her in case I ever want to use her. So if you have a hard time coming up with NPCs and the idea of just having a one page NPC sheet really appeals to you, again, you can join our community over on Patreon. I have those on my Patreon uh, for people to be able to download and use your welcome to use them. I'm happy to provide them. I'm also currently in the process of writing a new ebook that is going to be just barkeeps and merchants because that's what I hear the biggest thing from my patrons is that's what they need. They need more barkeeps. So I'm writing a whole book of NPC pages just like this one that's going to be nothing but barkeeps and merchants. So if you would like that, you can sign up for the Halfling Hobbies newsletter and I'll send out a link to that whenever it's ready to go or you can become a patron and then you'll get them as they come out instead of having to wait for the whole thing to be completed. 
So these pages alone really, really help me when I am making a tavern. I can just grab these things, roll up a tavern real quick, and there's lots of interesting things for my players to do, and I am not nearly so stressed. We have number one, tavern name, solved. Number two, tavern specials, solved. Number three, NPCs, solved. The last one, number four, is some juicy gossip. You're gonna want a few pieces of really juicy gossip that can be passed around between NPCs in your bar or your bartender can have on hand to dole out to curious adventurers. This can be about people in the town, events around the town, maybe things that they've heard from neighboring towns, anything like that to pique their interest, maybe get them going on the main plot or side quest. Any of that stuff is awesome. And in the month of February, I'm going to be creating tavern one page DM binder pages. So we will have those coming out very soon. But what I would do for now is just as you think of things that might be juicy gossip, just write them down in a loose piece of paper in your DM binder on note cards, or even type them out if you're a digital DM. But keep those things on hand. Uh, even gossip that you hear in the real world, it sounds funny, but but things that you hear in the real world that you're like, oh, that would make an interesting little bit of gossip, write it down. Um, maybe not around the person who's doing the gossiping, they might think that that's weird, but write down little tidbits to be able to give your players. And last of all, here is your bonus one. If you really, really want to take your tavern over the top, then you need to serve some tavern fare at your D&D table. And I have the easiest and the tastiest tavern fare for you to try out. It's actually from the official D&D cookbook, Heroes Feast. Now, Heroes Feast is not sponsoring me. I'm not affiliated with them. I just think it is a really, really fun idea to do a D&D cookbook. So here is one of the recipes from Heroes Feast called Orc Bacon. Here's how you make it. Now you might be thinking, that's just bacon with stuff on it. But oh my gosh, just the smell of this. It's like sweet, but it's got that garlic savoriness to it. And it's super, super crispy. <laughs> it's so good. You put this on your table and your players are gonna go nuts over this stuff and just pick off pieces and eat. It is fantastic tavern food. I highly recommend it, and I highly recommend Heroes Feast. I guarantee you and your players both are gonna love it. So make sure to check out the description down below for some free sheets. Head on over to Patreon if you want even more resources. I would love for you to be part of our community, and may your game have advantage. Hathleen Hannah here, signing out. <laughs>